package from China. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. All right, Wicked family. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the Retro HD TV game. This is the 6-in-1 SNES Mini clone from our friends from China. I did notice a lot of these clone consoles came out the last couple of years. And I keep buying them because I'm simply still searching for a good version. So from this point on, maybe this is the console or the Retro clone SNES Mini we were searching for. I have never seen a collection of pictures on the box that are so wrong like this one. It's just like Josie is shitting out the controller and Daisy is trying to catch it. And that official expression, she's now what is waiting for her. Oh yeah, look at that face. And that is not what we call a happy face. Alright, so they are giving us two controls with the system, that is pretty common. So we are getting a USA SNES Mini clone with two controllers. So the first thing that I'm noticing with these controllers is that the D-pad is quite horrible. You can feel it, that the push itself is not bad at all. But when you're going from the left to the right, there's something going on with this controller. Select start are just as, let's say, rubbery like the original one we have in here. Four buttons these are hollow and you are just the regular buttons I know of and the first thing that I'm noticing with the shoulder button we're having two different qualities the push of both controllers are different and that is only what you're going to get with the fake controllers let's see if this thing has the same problem yes it uses the original control ports but I can tell you this is no and let's say 100% guarantee you can use original controller with this device no if you take a close look at the system itself, I must say they are getting more nuttier than ever because the system itself is basically a one-on-one -on -one clone of the American version. It has the reset button and the on and off. At the front we can open it up like the original one having here the original ports. We're having an LED over here. But there is something different with this version. This one doesn't come with a game inside. No! They are not that naughty like in the previous videos. Just so you need to grab yourself an NCF card, add the files yourself, and very hard to get it in, and get it in. So this fan thing has an HDMI connection and a micro USB, and finally they're starting to learn to use the HDMI function. Alright, so this thing has a support for six kind of games. Alright, so the 6-in-1 game systems, or in other words, we can play 6 kind platforms. Alright, so the first thing we can play is GBA games, Super Famicom, Famicom, MAME, Mega Drive and PlayStation 1. But a fun fact, when you're looking at the AliExpress web shop, it's already telling you if you want to buy this thing for arcade and PlayStation 1, you will be disappointed. So, he's just going to be honest with it. So again, if you want to play Super Famicom games, NES, GBA, Mega Drive, this seems to be running perfectly. That's something we're going to try out. Alright, so we're powering on. This is what we're going to get, the menu. Alright, so it's very simple. Um, there are not a lot of options. And we go to the platform you want to play the game. Or, of course, the game that you have been added. And simply, you can choose a game. So there are quite some new features that are not very common with these devices. So first let's talk about not the emulation or how it works, now we're going to talk about the options because we're having the screen ratio options. So every time you want to boot up a game this is the menu you're going to get and it's pretty cool because not only you can go to the low progress and this works very simple. Every time we're going out of the game, it asks you to save, yes or no. There is no save slot like the original NES or Super NES. It's not perfect. But when you're going to the settings menu, the sound output is a little bit pointless because you can turn it on and off. We can button mapping if you don't like them. And we're having the screen size. We're having scale, full and original size. I will give you a small overview of the differences. All right, so this is the first option. This is the scale function. This is the full screen option. I like it, but a lot of people hate it. 
And final we having the original skill. I don't know what's up with this, it's a very strange way of having this game. But nevertheless, I'm going to switch to the skill size because for me this feels like the image is squeezed. And not in a good way. Alright, let's do a little bit of a gameplay Wicked style. So we're going to show you how you need to play alternate beast. Yes. For the people who don't know, you grab the power-ups and you're going to get beef cape to the maximum level. Alright, so how you can play the game is very simple. Push him in the face, kick him in the balls. Punch him in the face, kick him in the balls. Punch him in the face, kick him in the balls. And when Wolfie comes, you jump to it and you hug him. Get your power up, get beefcake. If you miss it out, you can't get beefcake. No! 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 This is a problem, this guy, because he doesn't have a head. So what you're going to do, you're not going to punch him in the face. You're just going to kick him in the balls. You come here, you come here. Mm, mm, mm. Be careful, they want to punch you in the face. Wolfie, come here. And when you're getting beefcake, you can just kick him in the balls. Kick him in the balls, kick him in the balls. I did here and a little slowdown. Oof. Oof. Ooh, yo, 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 that is not good. I messed up. Alright, so when looking at the AliExpress site, it says that the MIM games are not working like it should be. So that's something we're going to try out. Because GBA was not working like it should be, you can hear there was a big frame drop and yeah, it's still playable, but not good. Alright, let's try out this game. I just want to point out, I did try to add some Neo Geo, but it doesn't boot at all. So it's purely MIM that you can play with this. Seems to be that this game works fine. Yeah. All right, let's go. I must say this game runs pretty smooth. It's not bad at all. We've got the power. Get the power of our predator. Ooh, 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 ooh. Blow them all, blow them all up. All right, so I'm pressing start and select it again. As you can see, we can save the game. And this is what I'm trying to say uh, in China. I, I tried to load up another meme game, but this is what basically happened. It's just giving this loading please wait screen and that's it. So it's more like a big gamble if it comes to meme. Yeah. yeah. If you listen to the music, demolition sounds pretty good. And with the HDMI connection, the image looks very crisp and clear. It's very nice. The controller are, by the way, freaking horrible. The better response, not every time. Alright, so when you're trying to boot up the PlayStation 1 game, I tried everything with this. Um, I tried to, uh, let's say, add every single format you can think of. I um, tried to map the PS4, but I can't get this stupid thing to find the PlayStation game. But the site already stated that it doesn't run the PlayStation game very well. So at the end, I think, even if I get it working, it would be a waste of time. But if I can find a way, I will show you.
All right, so let's see what is inside this little me machine, what runs it, because I'm getting the idea this thing runs like an Android device. I see loading screens, a lot of stuff going on, so I'm guessing it's an Android device at the inside. But then it's the question, of course, what kind of mainboard are they using to power on this device? All right, so this thing doesn't have internal storage or or it has the internal storage very small simply because we're using the SD card. So if I'm right with removing the four screws over here, we can just open it up, pop it open, and let's see what's inside. <laughs> go, go, screwdriver from China. All right, so, ooh, need to be very careful. Ooh, this looks very interesting. Right. All right, so this is quite interesting. This is something totally new because I did open up some of these clone systems and most of the time they were just, yeah, let's say basic tiny main boards that only contain, of course, the games. But as you can see here, we have, an, okay, let's talk about this PCB board with this ribbon cable. This is for the two switches. So this is the only thing that is on here. It's connected over here. All right, so we have in the SD function over here that is connected with the ribbon cable. It goes all the way here to the main board. And let's see what we have here. The two controller ports are connected on these ports. So it seems to me this is a very unique main board. And something totally different compared with all the other models I've reviewed. I tried to remove this one, but it is glued on the main board itself and the chip. But what I understand from this, if I'm saying it correctly, this is the storage, this is the flash drive or the flash chip that is storing the data of the Android firmware itself. You have it two smaller chips for the RAM function, but I can't get this thing off, so I can't show you what kind of chip they are using to emulate everything. But I'm guessing because <coughs> Because I'm guessing this is more like an Android base, I'm guessing this will be a very familiar chip you find in your tablet or other devices. And let's remove the other screws. Let's see if we can lift out the main board itself. And just look at the other side. Oh man, this thing is tied up very well. All right, let's remove the flashcard holder. And again, it's packed up with quite some SD or quite some PCB boards, All right? So that was the thing that was holding it together. Pull it out and let's see what we can find here for information. As you can see, there was nothing much on the bottom of this device. What is, fu what is funny is that you have this little switch over here that says U-Boot. The other one says Reset. So, but at the end, the reset button is functional and does work. But the U-boot, to be honest, I have no clue how to get into the system. But I find it not really important with this device. All right, so this is what we're going to get. And I think the quest for the best ultimate Chinese knockoff system needs to continue. Simply because this thing is not perfect at all. All right, so he was honest about it. I couldn't get even PlayStation 1 to work. So nevertheless, MAME indeed, it's problematic not all the games boot up but the games that did boot up did work very well but if you look at the mega drive and the snes and nes part it's not bad at all and it works just great so let me know what you think of this for now thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the bell and become one of the wicked family and it would be great to see you in the next video <coughs>